What's going on, everybody? All right, so look, I'm no expert when it comes to Wall Street, and I'm not real good when it comes to all those numbers and all that craziness, but seeing this bar graph shows you that Warner Bros. Discovery is in deep, deep shit, honestly. Look, this right here shows you that they keep on going down on the daily, and every week, it just gets worse for them, all right? As always, hit that subscribe, and let's get into it. Look, check this out. Let's be real, all right? I'm not going to sit here and argue with nobody. But without Zack Snyder, Warner Bros. Discovery has fallen and it continues to sink deeper and deeper, all right? Meanwhile, Zack is over at Netflix and Netflix for the win. They keep on making movies. They keep on putting out um, all this, you know, entertainment stuff. And they're winning because they keep on making money. You don't see them in the debt that these people at Warner Brothers are going through, right? And facts are facts. Without Zack Snyder, there's no money to be made. And this right here shows you. Because 2023 was all about the remaining films that the Hamadaverse was putting out. And look how bad they all went. All right? And look at where we're at right now. It continues to fail. And it continues to flop. And don't think that Superman Legacy isn't going to be safe. It's also going to fail. And it's also going to flop. Because it's already dead on arrival. All right? Accept the facts. With James Gunn, there's no hope and there's no solution. With Zack Snyder, that's where the money was at. People were going to the theaters. People wanted to see more. They wanted more. They were building things along with David Ayer when he was doing Suicide Squad. All right. Everything has just been crumbling and it continues to go down without Zack Snyder. And like I said, I'm not going to sit here and argue with nobody because the facts are the facts. All right. And if you can't accept that, I don't know what else to tell you. But there's plenty of proof because the numbers don't lie all right and to everybody that keeps on saying that oh rebel moon isn't not in the top 10 anymore it doesn't matter it's still making money that's the whole point of it you get what i'm saying over at netflix it's winning rebel moon continues to get subscribers and it keeps on getting people to watch it so that you know it's it's a done deal that's it and we're waiting for april for part two to come out for rebel moon and i can't wait honestly these are some great times to be a fan and to see everything that Zack Snyder has been putting out and how great that they're treating him over at Netflix. And it's incredible because this is the type of respect that you give a director. This is the type of freedom that Warner Brothers should have given and allowed Zack Snyder to do. And here's another thing too, with the Suicide Squad, with James Gunn, when he was uh, putting out the movie, it failed because Warner Brothers did not interfere and they didn't sabotage his movie. So there's no excuses. People didn't want to see it. It's just a garbage movie. That's what it is, honestly. And with Zach, everybody wanted to see what was coming out next because there was, you know, there was hype, there was success, there was, you know, everything was there. People wanted more of that. But the moment that Warner Brothers ruined everything, they straight up did this to themselves. And this is where we're at right now, you know? And honestly, like the Joker said, you know, you get what you effing deserve. This is what it is. So Warner Brothers, you need to listen up to your fans. You need to listen and do what your fans tell you. But you guys are so stubborn and hard-headed. This is the result that you get right here. Without Zack Snyder, there's no hope and there's no future. And the, the numbers are showing it. It's right here, you know? The stock numbers are just showing you that's how bad Warner Bros. Discovery needs Zack Snyder. But meanwhile, Zack is winning over at Netflix. And we, the fans, will continue to support him. And we will stop at nothing because this year we're going to go harder and stronger. Restore the Snyderverse, release the air cut, fire James Gunn. Make sure to hit that subscribe, drop your comments, all that good stuff. And until next time.